Hey everyone, Craig from Meet Me Outside. How are you? It's a rainy, kind of drizzly Saturday. Um, just doing some chores around the house. I dehydrated a bunch of food this morning. Um, but I want to talk about my camp chair. I've had this Helinox original chair one for... I got it as a gift. Oh boy, I want to think probably almost nine years ago. Um, I didn't like the, the, the color. It was kind of blue. So I tried spray painting it green, and it's, it's held up kind of, sort of, you know what I'm saying? But I, I can't say enough about this chair. Uh, I've never had an issue with it, and I don't really uh, baby it, and I certainly don't treat it with a whole lot of care. I, I mean, I, I trust the chair is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's been on multiple trips, cross country and back, you know, backpacking, canoe camping, multiple trips, and I, I've just really, um, learn to appreciate the chair for the quality that it is. I mean, I know this is cheaper chairs, and I, I, although having said that, I have mentioned in the past to buddies that if this ever fails or breaks, um, I'm not spending a hundred bucks on another camp chair. There's other options that are way cheaper or less expensive. Uh, having said that, I did just what I said I wasn't gonna do. And I, and I went out and purchased this, uh, Helinox Chair Zero, it's essentially the same thing, only it's like a pound less weight, okay? Now this chair here, the original Chair One, it's about two pounds, maybe a little more with the carry case. You can see the carry case here, it's seen its wear and tear, one of the loop handles is broken off, but it still works. And the reason I got this Chair One Zero is it's 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 barely over a pound, even with the little even with the little carry case here, the little bag it comes with. It's a silk nylon bag, ripstop bag. It's a little over a pound, so there's essentially a pound difference in the chairs weight wise. Now this chair, if I'm doing uh, canoe camping where you're just paddling up to a campsite and you're pulling out your gear and you're not doing any carries or portaging, I'll still use this. It. It's fine. It's not. It's again, it has not broken. Hopefully it won't ever break, but you know, it is what it is. But I'll still use this, day hikes, whatnot. But on, like Justin and I from It's Good in the Woods have a trip coming up in about a week. We're gonna be heading out to Northern Maine again for a uh, eight or nine, maybe 10 day trip. And there are a couple portages. And I was just thinking, as much as I don't wanna spend the money on another chair or, or, or to, to fork out the money for, I've really gained a lot of trust in the Helinox name. This isn't a commercial for Helinox. It's just like having used this for nine years, I just have a lot of trust in the brand and the quality. Um, so I did get this. I, I'm not happy about paying the money, but it is what it is. Because we have some portages and that, that extra pound of weight that that gave me that this one won't is going to be appreciated um, this year. I'm trying to really cut down my pack weight so I can single carry. So I'm really happy about this. And another thing I've done is for this chair as well as this one, as I follow the lead of Justin from It's Good in the Woods, he, he did a video, hold on one second, hold on, let me show you this. He did a video a couple years ago on making a, um, uh, a device to not, a lot of times these chairs they'll sink in soft sand, mud, um, at the strangest times. I've fallen over multiple times with something given out, and Justin had gave, gifted me these little tiny miniature tennis balls that you cut a slit in it like this and you, you stuff it over the end of the chair. It actually works pretty good. Really good, actually. And I, I wanted to follow his lead. And he had made a, a platform of sorts out of a, an extra, an old tarp. He cut up and used Gorilla Tape and made a platform. So I went ahead and did that for this chair as well as my new one. And let me show you if I can do this quickly. And Tyvex, I don't know if you're familiar with Tyvex, but I had a piece kicking around from an extra ground sheet for my tents, but it's, it's super, super tear resistant. That's the main quality of it, it's, it's tear resistant. You can see it there. Um, it's used in the building industry for on side walls and exterior walls. I've used it a lot in the past myself. Um, but yeah, there you go. I made one with Gorilla Tape. I haven't tried it, it's kind of raining now, so I'm not gonna go out and try to find some sand somewhere, but I'm sure it'll work fine, and I have tons, or a lot of Tyvek left over. So there you go, it's a Tyvek 
anti-sink thing. <laughs> there you go. I don't know how else to say it. But yeah, super happy with it. I look forward to using this chair on our upcoming trip and for backpacking trips where weight might be a little more crucial. So again, there's two chairs. The original chair one, which I love, will never get rid of, and my new uh, Helinox chair zero. Super happy with this. Thanks for tuning in. I have some more chores to do. Peace.